Well, the CDC released new information on COVID-19 showing that the virus can actually live on your shoes and on the floor. Family physician Dr. Jen Cottle joins us this morning once again to share what we can do to help stop the spread at home. Also, she has some tips for those of you who have those home repair projects that need to get done. Dr. Jen, welcome back. And I do want to begin with the soles with our shoes and the fact that the studies come out and said that they could indeed be carriers of COVID-19. Yeah, so this is an interesting study. Let me talk a little bit about the study just to frame it a little bit. Um, this was a study, um, an early release by the CDC. It was a study done in China between February and March in a hospital that was treating COVID-19 patients. Basically, researchers wanted to understand better how COVID-19 is spread. So they sampled a lot of of, of uh, items in the hospital, which is uh, they found COVID-19 on the floors. They found it in uh, in air. They found like air vents and things like that. Also handrails, bed rails, uh, doorknobs and, and things of that nature. Now, what they did find to go to the soles is that 50% of workers in the ICU had COVID-19 on their soles of the shoes. Um, they also um, said that um, they, they found that aerosol transmission could be spread potentially up to 13 feet. Now, let me give you, which is four mm. meters, let me give you a little bit of perspective and maybe how we should look at this, first of all. Um, one thing I need to say is that with COVID-19, we are learning new things every single day. Every day, things are changing because we're learning more. The second thing is that this study was done in a hospital. So the 50% of soles of the shoes, this is hospital workers in an ICU that's clearly a high-risk region. Couple takeaways from this is that, yeah, perhaps we need even better uh, personal protective equipment for hospital workers, right? Because clearly COVID-19 can be everywhere. But the study also says that, you know, look, I mean, just because you find COVID-19 on the soles of shoes and on doorknobs and 13 feet away doesn't necessarily mean it can infect others, that it's viable. So not to go on and mm. on and on, but I wanted to kind of, <laughs> it's really important that people not just think that their souls in their house have COVID. Um, what I would say yeah. is for hospital workers, if you work in a hospital, you should definitely consider disinfecting your shoes. I certainly would not bring them in the house. I'd leave them outside. For mm. people who are not hospital workers, I still think it's important to be mindful. Uh, what I'm doing, I'm not in the hospital these days, is I'm leaving my shoes at the door. I'm not wearing them throughout the house. You can certainly disinfect them if you're more comfortable, but we have to remember that this was done in the hospital. We just, we have a lot more to learn. Well, that was great information because we know things just aren't as simple as when a study comes out and gives right. us the numbers or the new information. Uh, so real quick, because I do want to get to it. A lot of people still have home yeah. repairs that need to get done in order for them to, to function and to live. So if you had mm -hmm. to give them one piece of advice, if they had to hire someone, what would you say? First thing is if you don't have to do the home repairs right now, don't do them. Only do them if there's if it's necessary. Second is if it is necessary, call the company ahead and find out what procedures they have in place. Try to limit contact, try to do a contact list if possible, making sure that people come out wearing personal protective equipment that you don't have to come in contact if necessary or if possible. Uh, call the company ahead and talk about these things to find out what uh, safety procedures can be put in place if you have to. Dr. Jen Cottle, always delivering. Thanks so much. Great to have you back Thank on. You. Thank you.